Hey everyone, Third here with Boffer Basics, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a hot glue pommel. So hot glue pommels are pommels that are made primarily using a foam cone and hot glue. This creates a pommel that, once the glue is set up, is extremely secure, but still pliable and safe. Uh, it's fairly simple to do, though a little hard to uh, figure out on uh, your own initially, but I'm going to help you out with that, and I've included a uh, link to a template in the uh, description below so you don't have to struggle through it like I did. So once you've got your, your template uh, printed out and cut out, uh, it's super simple to move forward. Uh, as I've noted on the template, you need two and three quarter inches of core for the, uh, the height of this template and it is designed to go on a half inch core. Here I've got some .602 and it still works pretty, pretty well with that. If you're going to put it on a larger core, you'll just need to remove some material from the back side to make the, the bottom hole a little bit bigger. Um, so if you're going to do that, do that before you cut down any of the length on it so that you don't end up with something that's too small. When it's formed into a cone, it's going to create a circle that is about two and a half inches uh, in diameter. So uh, if you cut off the top, you're going to lower that down a little bit. And that's intentionally big to give you a little bit of room to play with. Um, when you've figured out exactly uh, how you need to modify your template, uh, put, make it into a cone before you put it on your, your piece or on your core here. So you're going to take uh, just a piece of tape. I've got some shiny duct tape here because that's what I had on hand. And put it on the back side and fold it in. And you're going to bring your pieces here to match. So you're going to roll this in and flatten it out with the seams, butt it up against each other and then flatten out your tape. Once that's good, just give her a squeeze and make sure that your, your seam is pressed to nice and you've made a nice cone. Um, from here, yeah, you're going to slide it onto your core and look at that. It makes a nice, beautifully ramped, smooth pommel. Now you, I don't know if you can see it too well with my camera here, but I've left a little bit of room at the end of my pommel so that some of the hot glue will fill over top of the core, uh, which adds a nice little bit of cushion because hot glue isn't super rigid. Um, once we fill this with hot glue, we're going to put a little bit of hot glue around the edge here, and we're going to take a piece of foam. Uh, you can use uh, four pound, but if you want something a little bit softer, uh, use some three pound or just like I've got here, some two pound blue foam, and you're going to cap that on the end. I always make sure that my cap is about two and a quarter, two and three eighths. That way, uh, once it's on there and taped down, I know it's not going to go through a two inch template, uh, at least as applies for dagger hair and Bellagard. Uh, always check the specifics for, for your game. Uh, one thing that I should note uh, while I'm looking at it here is that I'm using a hollow core. So obviously I don't want to just be dumping hot glue into my core here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of tape and I'm going to cover that up so none of my glue ends up down in my core. Just like that, easy peasy. So, slide my cone on. Make sure it's in the position that you want, that's not you know, all uh, cattywampus or anything. And then just take a little bit of uh, tape and secure it in place so it doesn't move around when you are working with it. There we go. Alright. So I've already got my hot glue gun heated up, just using uh, standard multi-temp uh, hot glue. Um, and I'm going to fill the entirety of this cone up until it is just above my core. Okay, and we're done. So I filled in the, uh, the cone here with hot glue, which made it nice and warm. And uh, just did a little bit of hot glue around the lip there and uh, put my phone in place. So it'll just take a, a minute or two for this to set. Um, if you've somehow got any abnormalities or something, or if you want it some funky shape, uh, now's the chance for you to, to, to do that, to move it around. Uh, once the hot glue sets, this, this pommel will, will never move <laughs> again. It will, it will take uh, heaven and earth to, to get the thing off your core. So bear that in mind too. Um, once it's kind of set in, which it is for us now, uh, we can go ahead and move on to wrapping it up, and that's just adding tape. 
So I'm just using some Howie's Hockey Tape, which, um, as an aside, pretty good tape, decent price. Uh, it's a bit of a pain to tear, and it tends to get pretty sticky uh, after it's been in use for a while, especially in the heat, but um, it works. So I'm just going to do some strips of this going across to secure my cap. I'm just going to do get steadily overlapping pieces to make sure I get full coverage. And if you're doing this while your uh, while your hot glue still isn't set, like mine's still pretty pliable here, you want to be careful that you're not cranking down crazy hard because you're just going to end up making it. Uh, you're going to end up throwing it out of out of shape. So just a word of caution. Be careful. Just two or three more pieces ought to do it. Now, you might be asking yourself, watching this video, Third, why do you have a five and a half foot long javelin? Do you really need that? And the answer to that is no. I don't need a five and a half foot long javelin. But the rules say I can make one up to seven feet. And I've never used one that's not just the standard four feet. So I figured, why not? Maybe it'll work out kind of like a, like a hot light sphere. Or something kind of niche and silly. Or maybe it'll just fly like garbage and be an absolute waste. But, if that's the case, I can always take a hacksaw, cut off a foot and a half of it, and have a four foot javelin, and really not be too put out for it. But we'll have that experience. And now, we have it together. Fantastic. Okay, so, pommel's all put together, and I have a five and a half foot long javelin. Uh, go ahead and uh, put on appropriate marking tape as required by your game, and you're good to go. Now, if you're wondering uh, what kind of weight effect this has, this javelin was 12.55 ounces. Uh, that's because I have a 602 Kite Spark core in here, so it won't flex out, uh, and I can still have it long. Uh, expensive, but you know sometimes I experiment, so you don't have to. But 12.55 ounces, and let's try and get this on here. With our pommel tape and everything, we are now at 13.85. So 1.3 uh, ounces is what our hot glue pommel added with all of its tape and glory. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, if you found this video helpful or you like it, be sure to like, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.